Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I am fasting today, which means I'm about to pass out and punch all of you in the face all at the same time because I'm just good like that because I'm a ninja. Yeah. Yeah. All right, the news. So um, here's a story you haven't heard a million times. Facebook might be making a phone. So I know this is a completely new idea, but hear me out, okay. The report says that Facebook has actually hired several former Apple software and hardware engineers to work on this project. And supposedly this is actually the third attempt to build a Facebook phone, but before they ran into some problems when they realized they couldn't actually build their own hardware. Now the next question is, do they build their own operating system or do they just build off of Android and make kind of a completely custom skin, kind of the way that Amazon has done with the Kindle Fire. Now recently Facebook acquired Instagram and there's rumors that they're trying to acquire Opera, the third party browser developer. So if they are successful with that, those could be two very valuable ass assets in trying to build a Facebook phone. Now, like I said, this is a completely new and radical idea that we haven't heard a million times in the past two years. So I doubt there will be a million more updates for the next two years, but just in case there are, we'll let you guys know. Speaking of rumors we haven't heard a million times, the next iPhone could have a four inch display. I know, that's crazy. Like I've never heard that before, but supposedly according to 9to5Mac, Apple is working on a couple of new displays, one of which could measure up to 3.99 inches and have a, have a resolution of 1136 by 640. This report is backed up by a separate report about the next iPod Touch, which will supposedly have a 4.1 inch display, and the tipster even supplied a photo of the iPod Touch front panel with a clearly larger display. Now again, I've never heard this story before, so I doubt we'll have any more updates, especially since it's the iPhone and we hardly ever hear anything about the iPhone, but just in case there's more updates, we'll give them to you. Now let's move on to everyone's favorite segment, where's my freaking update? It's been like six months already, for the love of God, just send me my update. I'll even promise you my firstborn child, just send me the freaking update. It's a new title, we're, we're, we're working with it. HTC has posted their Android 4.0 update schedule and it includes details on phones like the Sensation XE, the Rime, the Resound, the Incredible S, and more. Now unfortunately, the HTC Flyer, HTC's tablet, will not be getting Android 4.0, but several other phones will, so check out that article to see the full list. Sony has also posted its ice cream sandwich update schedule and it is as follows. The Xperia S will get Android 4.0 at the end of June, the Xperia P and Xperia U will get Android 4.0 in the third quarter, and the Xperia Arc, Xperia Neo, Xperia Mini, Xperia Mini Pro, Xperia Pro, Xperia Active, and Sony Ericsson Live with Walkman should be getting Android 4.0 sometime this week. Now if you're wondering why the Xperia Play is not on that list, it's because the Xperia Play will not be getting Android 4.0 because Sony says they could not guarantee a stable experience once the phone was upgraded to Android 4.0. Now recently Motorola also released its update schedule and you remember that the Droid 3 and Droid X2 will not be getting ice cream sandwich, which according to Taylor and myself is pretty ridiculous, but Motorola released a statement explaining itself by saying, we want the new release to improve our devices. If we determine that can't be done, well then we're not able to upgrade that particular device. Now if you have a Motorola phone that will be upgraded to Android 4.0, check out this article because Motorola has released a couple of videos showing what their new skin will look like on top of Android 4.0, and this will come with Ice Cream Sandwich update. There's about three videos showing off the home screen and the lock screen, so take a look at that to see what to expect. And we'll finish up the show with a couple of exciting rumors. First, we're hearing that the Galaxy S3 could be hitting T-Mobile, wait for it, on June 20th. Yes, the guys at Timo News said that the blue version will hit T-Mobile on June 20th and the white version will hit on July 11th. And we're also hearing that the Galaxy Note could be hitting T-Mobile on July 11th 
as well. So some exciting rumors for you T-Mobile users. Keep your eyes on PhoneDog as we update you guys on that. And for our second exciting rumor, we're hearing that we could see a Google Nexus tablet at Google I.O. next month. Supposedly, it's going to be made by ASUS. It'll have a quad-core processor and cost about $200. Now, according to this report, not only will the Nexus tablet be announced at Google I.O., but attendees will actually get a free tablet, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, Google I.O. is next month, June 27th through 29th. We'll keep you guys updated on everything that happens at the event. So keep on phone dog for more updates on that. So that's the news and that is the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and check out the description below the YouTube video because I'll have links to all of the news articles that I talked about. But that's it. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye.